All right, Miller, Marissa, you just finished uh, your classic podium training here. Can you just talk a little bit about how you felt one? Um, I think it went really well. Um, I am kind of like had to work on like getting used to the equipment, the feel of it, but I think at the end, you know, I was doing really good. I'm a lot more consistent and confident. Um, just really getting back on floor and vault, but I think bars and beam were really good. Oh, you like just mentioned getting back on floor and vault. You're just coming back from a uh, leg injury suffered a few months ago. Can you just talk maybe a little bit about the injury and kind of how that preparation and building back into it has gone? Yeah, well, I was out for um, a while. Like, I couldn't do anything with my legs, so coming back was really hard because um, I had, like, no strength, so I had to work on getting all that back before I could even start training again. So it was a long process, but I think that overall it, it's going really well, and I feel like it's equally as strong now and it's coming back really well. Well, this has been your first full year of elite gymnastics, um, obviously competing at the P&G Championships last year. Uh, kind of just this, take me through this year and kind of how, how it's been different leading into these classics and this elite season and then it was last year. Um, well, last year I didn't really know what to expect. I was coming in and didn't really know how it was going to go and I was definitely a lot more nervous, but now that this year I'm used to, you know, competing on the podium and in front of all the people, so um, I'm a lot more confident and excited going in rather than nervous. And then leading this this particular competition, uh, any, I know with the injury, not a lot of training time on you know all the events. But is there any uh, upgrades? I know the bar routine. You can talk a little bit about your bar routine's upgraded, definitely different from last year. Yeah, I've upgraded. I've been working really hard on upgrading that routine, and then just. Um, putting together a routine that's difficult, but also that I know I can hit well. So um, I'm really happy with where that's at. And then I'm also, if I can qualify for PNGs, hoping to add a little bit more difficulty there. And then at PNGs, you plan on uh, doing all around? Yeah, hopefully. Um, knowing you, and knowing you as well as I do, you know, training and being out there and doing gymnastics is what you love to do. How difficult was it? What was it to sit out the last you know couple months of just um, letting yourself heal? It was really hard, you know, especially knowing like not going, being able to go to the training camps and just watching all my teammates train every day and all I could do was conditioning. It was really hard for me, but it also motivated me, you know, to really want to get back and compete again. Obviously, you talked a little bit about motivation. Uh, the timing wasn't great, obviously, with the injury, but what does it mean to you that you were in, in that mix for that, that Pan Am selection of teams? Um, it was a huge honor for me. You know, um, it's my main goal is to make national team and like get international assignments. So being so close, it was really amazing, and um, I'm really proud of that. And so hopefully, I can get back and hopefully make. National team. And then, what are your uh, specific goals leading into the most competition? Um, I just want to hit clean routines on both bars and beam, and then hopefully I can get into PNGs and do well there too. Marissa, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.